president's post midterm speech has gotten mixed reviews from the press, with one outlet calling it, quote, stubborn, and another describing it as, quote, defiant. But what do the voters think? Lee Carter from Ms. Lansky and Partners is here with the dials. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. So during that press conference, rather than uh, patting Republicans on the back and seeing this as a, as a referendum on the Democratic Party and the president's policies, he blamed it on low voter turnout. Let's watch. So to everyone who voted, I want you to know that I hear you. To the two-thirds of voters who chose not to participate in the process yesterday, I hear you too. All of us have to give more Americans a reason to feel like the ground is stable beneath their feet, that the future is secure, that there's a path for young people to succeed, and that folks here in Washington are concerned about them. So did America hear the president there, Lee? <laughs> I mean, you can see what happened. People just went so far down when he was talking about the two-thirds of the vote. Really, what we have right now is a C-minus, a C-plus, I'm sorry, about, about this clip. People felt like it went really far down when he said two-thirds because the one-third of people that we spoke to that was out there voting said, you're dismissive of my votes. The two-thirds of people that didn't show up, it's almost like he's saying, you know what, you're saying nothing and I'm going to listen to you. So really, people just didn't respond to that. At the same time, they started to come back up when he started to say some really positive things that they did believe, but the two-thirds just did not work for him. He shouldn't have said it. Republicans no doubt had a, an historic election, historic wins there, um, but the president is, is saying, despite this divided government, we are one United States. Listen to this. So the fact is, I still believe in what I said when I was first elected six years ago last night. For all the maps plastered across our TV screens today, and for all the cynics who say otherwise, I continue to believe we are simply more than just a collection of red and blue states. We are the United States. And whether it's immigration or climate change or making sure our kids are going to the best possible schools to making sure that our communities are creating jobs, whether it's stopping the spread of terror uh, and disease to opening up doors of opportunity to everybody who's willing to work hard and take responsibility, the United States has big things to do. We can and we will make progress if we do it together. Uh, and I look forward uh, to the work ahead. Going positive instead of negative seems to help him a little bit here. It does a lot. I mean, you can see the trends there are positive, but really there's a huge divide here. So overall, I give him a B minus because he really didn't appeal across the aisle. And what happened is what people said is they were really buying into it. They liked all of his positive language, but at the very end, he said, um, we'll make progress if we do it together. People like that. But he said, I look forward to the work ahead and no one bought it. Started to come back down and people really held on to that. Okay, on Thursday, we saw uh, an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal from uh, John Boehner and from Mitch McConnell, the presumptive uh, Senate Majority Leader, and laying out what the Republican Party plans to do. Let's hear from Mitch McConnell here. When the American people choose divided government, I don't think it means they don't want us to do anything. I think it means they want us to look for areas of agreement. Reagan never had the House in eight years. Clinton didn't have the House or the Senate for six of his eight years. I can think of at least four fairly significant things done. Um, Reagan and Tip O'Neill saved Social Security for a generation, did the last comprehensive tax reform. We need to do that again. Bill Clinton and the Republicans did welfare reform and actually balanced the budget for three years in a row. So I think we ought to start with the view that maybe there are some things we can agree on to make progress for the country. How did folks respond to this? This is just a C plus. It was pretty average. He was making a pretty sophisticated argument for folks, and people weren't really able to follow him. And one of the things that we did hear from people is that they wanted to hear more what he was going to do and less about what other presidents in the past. And so it looked like he was setting himself up maybe to blame the, blame the president here. And so folks didn't love it, and they really want to see him in action now. Yeah, it seems like Americans are just really frustrated with gridlock Absolutely. in Washington, D.C., and ready for the Republicans to do something. Lee Carter, thank you so much for your time Great, today. Thank you. Thank you.